cooking doesn't get tougher than this, sadly, this repetitive phrase won't be uttered for another few months as MasterChef finally announced their winner this evening. After weeks of sautéing, steaming and grilling, John Torrode and Greg Wallace finally crowned bank manager Kenny Tutt as their MasterChef 2018 champion. From a dissected crab to piranha head savage, contestants in the BBC cooking competition once again tried to prove that they were more ambitious than ever. And tonight, 36-year-old Kenny's lavish feast inspired by his MasterChef journey saw him walk away with the crown, with Greg describing his food as stunningly beautiful. Kenny wowed the judges from the onset with his dainty starter of roast scallops, smoked cauliflower, shimeji mushroom and pan sutta. However Kenny managed to trumpet with his main course of squab pigeon breast, heritage beetroot, baby turnip, spice cherries, bread sauce and game juice. To finish, he served up a bitter chocolate, ale ice cream, malt tool and smoked caramel. Every single thing he cooked he poured his heart into. He nailed it, John gushed. Greg added, Kenny turned this competition on its head. What a brilliant champion. Speaking to Mirror TV, Dad Kenny said that he still couldn't quite believe that he had won the competition and described it as mind blowing. It's an amazing achievement for me, my family, and everyone. So, yeah, I'm really happy, he said. Revealing that he managed to keep the result a secret from most of his family and friends, he admitted that he told his wife Lucy and mum the outcome. My wife thought I was joking, he quipped. Kenny, who is dad to Emily, 3, and Grace, 10 months, said that he couldn't have done it without his wife's support. I needed a lot of support because I've got two young children and I always want to spend time with them, but there are times when I said, is there any way I can spend some time in the kitchen to do this because I can't have my four-year-old hanging off my leg. So she was really supportive and it helped massively. During the last demanding week, he along with fellow finalists Nawam and Ping Bathamrit, 28, David Crichton, 41, and Alex, 40, traveled to Peru to learn about Peruvian cuisine. One memorable moment saw a contestant attempt to recreate the Andes Mountains out of corn, and another arranged piranha heads on a plate. But was it all work and no play? We went out and had a bite to eat, but generally there was a lot of us thinking about what we were going to do next, he told us. But yeah, we managed to spend a few hours together here and there which was really time well spent. When asked whether the MasterChef competition was as he expected, Kenny said, yes it was, and better. I thought it would be more like competition doggy dog with people trying to clamber over each other to win and the thing that made it really good was that there wasn't any of that. We were all the best of friends. And the time the bell rang for us to start cooking, we were all in our own little worlds anyway. He insisted that John and Greg were the same in real life as they were on screen, a couple of great guys. Kenya added, the thing you don't see when you're watching on TV is the things that go on around you when you're filming like cameras and sound. I didn't know about that you don't even think about it. It is a bit weird, but you quickly get used to it. Once I was used to it, 
It was like they had always been there. They were all great actually the production crew, camera guys they all had a great sense of humor. He described there as being a great atmosphere on set and said that everyone was well looked after. Since appearing on TV Weekly, Kenny has had a peek at Twitter to see what viewers have been saying. He said, it's an interesting place, isn't it? The Twitter world. Oh, of course, we in a democracy and everyone's got an opinion. Most people have been absolutely great, the support's been breathtaking, but you get the odd one that you just brush it off and move on. They don't really know you, it's an opinion they've formed from half an hour, hour of TV. But Kenny admitted that he had cringed watching himself on TV each week. I can be a bit pouty, he recalled as he laughed. So I need to rein that in a bit. To be honest, that was just me. What you see is what you get, and I do get a bit excited to be there. I was just a bit like an excited puppy, and that comes across. I mean, I am a pretty happy guy, I've got nothing to be upset about. So I think most people take that as a good thing, but you do get the odd person who is like, God, why is he always smiling? Well, you know, I'm on a TV show, and I'm doing alright, so I'm not not going to be happy about it. He also said that he hadn't realized he was quite so animated from the facial expressions he pulled, it is quite cringe when you watch it back. Kenny is the 14th amateur cook to claim the title, and he has a big legacy to live up to. Among the former winners include Oaxaca co-founder Thomasina Mears and restaurant owners and TV chefs Drub Baker and Simon Wood. So what's next in the pipeline for Kenny? I'd love to do something on live TV I'm a big foodie and TV buff anyway. Yeah, more TV, if the opportunity were to come along. Right now I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the next couple of weeks and let it roll over. Then hopefully, when it calms down a bit, I can start thinking about what I really want to do, he said. Kenny also wants to get young people cooking as well as write about food and, one day, hopes to own a high-end gastro pub or B&B. He joked, so, not asking for too much just Michelin star restaurants and books and, you know, everything 